Oh, well, hello, my creative friends. This happened. It's bound to happen in everyone's life once, hopefully only once. The side of the trestle table collapsed and the whole lot slid off. There's probably about, well, I measured it for nearly being two jugs worth, about 24 ounces or three cups of paint all over the floor. So I'm feeling pretty sad and sooky for myself, but my plan is to not miss the opportunity. I've got to clean it up. I'm going to pick all the cups up and there's some glass in there, try and get all the glass out. And then I'm going to dip my canvas in there and see how we go. So stay tuned for this amazing, fabulous, unique floor dip experiment. Oh, well, wow. So that's my tip of the day, how to clean up a massive paint spill on the floor, try and save some paint and um, see what you can kind of get. In total, I've saved a cup of about 300 mils and it kind of looks like it could be okay. Can you see in the top that it's not too murky? Let's have a look. So we might do a ring pull with this in a minute. And let's see what we can do with this dip and not make this be too much of a tragedy. Oh, we've got a fair bit of glare. Sorry about that. Um, what can I do to help? Not much. My... All right, let's just keep going. So some of the detail in here is quite gorgeous. And that lining that I did with the little bit around the black sort of. Okay, I might just smooth that down there. Oh, I didn't realize that was on. Let's close that door, that's better. So that's got a little bit of paint on it, but I'm inclined to maybe want to drag some of this through it here and just see what happens. It's um, the oddest thing that happened. You should have heard, seen my face. I I'm in here alone. Um, I'm kind of glad. You know, and I had a really kind of happy, productive plan going on in my head. I had an experiment ready, hence I had two canvases going, really big canvases too. No mucking around today. So we've got the 60 by 60 squares. And um, I have shocked my own pants off, so I'm not really too sure what I'm doing. So I guess um, intuition's really coming in. I'm thinking that I might not do too much with it except bring some white down here. Just um, based on the notion that I still feel a bit like in shock with that big skill. But oh, in the comments, let me know of your biggest spill and what you've done to try and rectify it. Well, that looks interesting. Let's drag that through like that. got some interesting features. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just mucking around because I don't know what to do and I'm feeling a bit in shock. I like some of the dip in here, but not some of the areas there. And that's way too black over there. I wonder what would happen if I tilted that 
it's too thick. Oh no, it's tilting slowly, ever so slightly. Let's let that tilt a bit and stretch out. Give some different effects down there. It doesn't kind of match. Yeah, that's what the problem is. It all needs to be dipped and I've lost my two pins here so I'm uneven. What can I do to rectify that? No, that's disgustingly wet. Okay, we'll try and rectify that as a starting point. Yeah, that's a bit better. And I think I might... get something and just do a few squishes. What do you reckon? All right, good idea. Well, I have some transparencies on hand. I'm gonna come around to this side here and dip one here. And then just one in that white and gold area. Just need to make sure I've got a spot to put my transparencies down because they might look nice for cards or something. Alright, here we go. So dipping this, it's kind of cool to see it, what happens. Not much is actually happening on this side of the transparency. It's really interesting. But yet, I know when we pull it up, it will look like a dip. Here we go. Kind of looks different. I'm sure I'll be able to work something out to make a blend. And I'm going to do a little bit on this white and gold and then lay that on the black over there. So I'm looking at the existing dip lines. Oops, lost it. Never mind. I actually think there's not a lot of paint on here to drizzle, though I still will get it up. Oh, see, that's just because of the paint changing texture. Let's put that there and see if it transfers. Not really. Okay. It's going to have to be a scrape, isn't it? Let's get a brush and just see if I can maybe blend some of it into each other a little bit more. And then maybe it might be the kind of thing that you leave. No, that looks shocking. Um, how does that look? That looks shocking too. so much pain. It's really not the end of the world. So why am I behaving like it is? You know why? Because it shocked, the, shocked me. Shock, shock, shocked me. All right. Well, we did try to save it. <sighs> Let's show you how I spray the painting. Ready? Got my nice plastic ready to pick it all up and off I go. Then I'll let this canvas dry and I think I might have a break for the day. What do you reckon? Even with that nice amount of paint that's left, I just don't feel um what do I feel? I do feel like I want to use that paint because... Alright, I know what I'm going to do. 
Thanks for listening to me blabber on. What I'm going to do is clean this canvas and go and get my other canvas and do a ring pour. Because that's what I wanted to do to begin with. I wanted to do a nice big travelling ring pour. See, I've got this inclination to want to dip it in again. You know, lesson not learned. Should I? Yeah, let's just do it. It's all here, ready to go. How often do we get a chance to dip this big? Ready? Whoa. Oh. No. All right, it's really coming off this time. No second chances. Ooh. I haven't even got my bigger spatula with me. I'm wearing the most ridiculous dress for an accident like this today. You know, those were huge long Renaissance sleeves. My favorite style of clothing. Of course, being a person who plays with paint, it's probably not the most practical style of clothing. But then I didn't plan on having such a spectacular spill. And that it was, wasn't it? Okay, so I've got that. I'll just get my paper towel. Rub off the last bit. Oops. It's a decent sized canvas, isn't it? I'll just do this. If nothing else, the canvas is going to get a really good tightening up. Alright, well, I might turn you off now because this part's really boring. Um, what did you think? How bizarre was that? I'm so glad that I was able to share it. Um, it's not often that we have our camera on hand when there's such a, an amazing, spectacular spill that's just about to happen. All right. So, that's about it for this canvas. And it will dry up really nicely. And it'll dry up nice and tight. And um, let's see what we can turn it into next time. Hey, thanks for watching. That was a really good one. <laughs>